Yes. So, welcome back you guys. Um, this is a video about uh, Helmut Lang, um, the brand in general, and then also um, a video about this specific denim jacket I picked up from uh, Helmut Lang recently. Um, and I picked it up, of course, during the sales. So, Helmut Lang, the brand, um, recently got revitalized in 2017, um, after that Helmut Lang, the designer himself, left the brand in 2005. Um, yeah. In general, the revitalization um, has been what they really did, um, and they currently have um, Shay Oliver uh, as the creative director. Um, but what they, uh, they've done is that they've taken the former um, influential aesthetic that um, Helmut Lang had and then they've kind of brought it up to this contemporary standard and I really found the old Helmut Lang um, aesthetic super appealing this kind of um, workwear inspired kind of bondage um, with a more darker aesthetic um, but still kind of um, minimalistic in a way um, and they've kind of brought this up to a contemporary standard and I think I, I found the, the old Helmut Lang so intriguing that I'll, I'm also finding these new designs kind of intriguing um, but we'll get into that more in the, later in the video. So the denim jacket I'm talking about, let me just fetch it. Um, is this denim, denim jacket right here? Um, it is a pretty, um, a pretty special denim jacket. Uh, I think um, it features quite a lot of different details, which you normally don't find in your typical average um, denim jacket. Um, yeah. But overall, the quality is super luxurious. It is not too heavy, nor is it too light. Um, and the denim jacket in general has quite a lot of nice features. Um, as you can see, the main focus is of course here on the back, where you find this huge print of a hand, a woman's hand with a ring on. Um, again, uh, referencing this former dark aesthetic. Then of course, the thing I dislike the most about it is this Helmut Lang um, kind of, um, typography on the back um, and I think I'll, uh, for some reason that's what all brands have to do they have to kind of stamp the logo on everything sadly Helmut Lang was not did not um, do that at any point in the when he was at the design house but they had to do it for some reason um, but I guess from a kind of graphical standpoint it's a pretty nice font I guess um, on the front you have this zipper closure really nice quality um, this very typical Helmut Lang zipper um, and then you also have these typical pockets and then there's a on the side here there's a detachable pocket um, overall it has a lot of details which I really like I, I prefer I actually chose this denim jacket because it has all these details which makes it kind of stand out in a way and not your typical denim jacket and of course the whole badge the whole ring um, the hand with a ring on the back is really what uh, what attracted me to this piece, um, which you can see here. Um, the denim jacket kind of references uh, this Helmut Lang aesthetic in the way that it um, that they are kind of still using the same construction methods and kind of the same um, aesthetic as uh, Helmut Lang was, um, but they're doing it this in this kind of more contemporary way, which you can see by the fact that um, they've actually written the logo on the back. Um, and you can of course discuss whether or not that's positive. Um, I do think it's it's okay, um, but it's kind of like um, yeah, they're kind of utilizing uh, his designs without kind of like um, spoiling them in a way for me. But I still found it attractive enough to pick it up, pick it up, and I got also fifty percent off. So of course that helps a bit. Overall, the jacket is really um, it is a very versatile jacket, which also is one of the reasons that I chose it because it is so versatile and I think the short body with the long sleeves kind of make for some interesting outfits where you can choose to tuck in your shirt or not or you can combine it with kind of layering it underneath bigger jackets or just use it as kind of a your outerwear um, you do decide that yourself and I think that's also why I chose it because it goes with more seasons both um, fall, winter and then also spring, summer I think um, but overall yeah, the whole Helmut Lang thing, um, I think it can be discussed whether or not um, it is creative enough to just kind of stick to a, a more formal um, aesthetic and then just revitalize it. 
um, but I do think that some of it has been made contemporary enough to make it interesting. Um, there is, they also do this re-edition, which I think is not creative enough because it basically it is just taking old pieces and making exactly the same, exactly the same way, and perhaps even with worse um, materials and worse um, kind of uh, construction methods. It has been really exciting to see where the brand is going, um, and I think with Shane Oliver as creative director, it's gonna have a focus on a bit more of some of the um, kind of niche, kind of um, yeah, fetishism. Basically, <laughs> that is um, what he has been accused of. Um, but I think it's going to be interesting to see. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, yeah, and do stay tuned because there's going to be more videos coming soon.